you get a perspective. I mean, some of it is good. There's a good thing. You know, I try and tell my, my anxious young children, I go, most of this doesn't matter. Right. But you don't know that at 19. You got to right. get to be old. And then you go, oh, so really that stuff is not anything to worry about. But you have to worry about it when you're 19. <laughs> we, right. None of us get that gift of actually knowing all that at 19. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be great if we did. Make your kids watch the show. That's never going to happen. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Our kids could not care less about (laughs) it. Yeah, do they care? Like, do they recognize that the two of you are as successful and sort of prolific as you are? I would doubt it. Absolutely not. (laughs) I would doubt it. I've never. There's so many more successful people that they're interested in than the two of you. People. Someone said to me that you know my daughter's seen very few things I've been in, and I thought, when's the right time as a parent to say like. Sit down and watch my <laughs> Oscar winning blah blah blah. You oh know, God, that's, yeah. like that's never. There's never a day when that's great parenting. Right? No, probably not. So we no. never, <laughs> we never have done it. But yeah. she, uh, our kids were around the set. Yeah, and Ezra and my daughter were. But there, it, but so they always find it amusing. Like if somebody would come over to me in a restaurant and say something very complimentary, my kids would look like. Really? You? <laughs> <laughs> he admires you? <laughs> Aim higher. I could tell the guy stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Do your kids want to be entertainers? Do they? Oh, boy. Mine do. Yeah, she really has the book. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, my daughter and my stepson are, they don't want to, they are. And how do you feel <laughs> about actors. that? I'm thrilled. I mean, it was a minute where I thought, I think I'm supposed to not like this. And I thought, I love <laughs> actors. Right. I love that. You have to look at yourself in the world as an actor. Yeah. I love that a- act- actors in the theater have always embraced people who haven't been bra- embraced yeah. in other mm. parts of the culture. So I, you know, yeah. it doesn't matter what I think. Right, so of course. I may as well like it. <laughs> Listen, if you had the, a booming plumbing business, yeah. <laughs> they might be a plumber. Maybe. And no one would bat an eye. Maybe. Right. That's it, and yours too. Yeah, I, I'm, I think one of my two boys is... is artistically inclined and would probably aim towards doing something but probably not acting more writing and directing and stuff right. but again you know that's the other thing you realize as a, as you get older it's just you it's such a cliche but you just want your kids to be productive and happy, happy. it's like whatever it is right if you have a passion then you really you know that's that's a big step if you already have something that you love to do go do it and I guess I've seen through the two of you sort of the ups and downs of this business and that you're okay, that it doesn't, you <laughs> can look at him laughing. Which no, part? Just, Which part? Said, when my son was, I don't know, eight or nine, when the show was over in 99, I was so happy to be home and just stay home. And, and I would, I, I really wanted to just be home. And I thought, what a great thing for my son. He comes home from school and daddy's <laughs> home and I'm here to give him a snack and do his homework with him. And one day he came home and he just said, he came into my office in my house. He goes, dad, what, what do you do? <laughs> All my friend's fathers, they do some, what do you do? I went, you know what? I think I, I got to get out of the house. I, yeah. <laughs> right, it's like a little too much of daddy. Yeah, home. too much of dad.